Morning people, checking out of Chiang Mai today and we're on our way to do the Mei Hong Song Loop. So spicy, it's probably the spiciest thing I've had since we left. We're at a nice viewpoint. It's gonna take us around five days, 600 kilometers all in. It's like 14 hours driving. And for that, we're gonna to need to rent out a scooter each and work out a way to get our bags on them. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite fun. I'm quite excited for it. It's gonna be a good adventure. Don't know where we're gonna be staying. We're gonna be booking it as we go. Bike rental in Chiang Mai. We have been to a lot of different places and ask them about pricing and what bikes we should take. A few of them tell you that you need to take the 150cc models and others say that that's a load of crap and that you can take 125cc, you're just better off taking a newer one. We're gonna go for the 125ccs because they say that it's gonna be absolutely fine. They rent them out all the time. We're looking at about 300 baht a day for the 125cc and 400 baht or 450 baht a day for the 150 cc's and it's just a 3000 baht deposit for each bike and you leave a copy of your passport you don't leave your passport there okay bikes check we've got all the stuff on the back of the back on, on the back of the bikes it feels pretty safe pretty secure give them a little test drive and they feel pretty good so much better than wearing them bags man i don't want to be wearing that for 13 hours now we just need to uh, be on our way Doing the bags like this is actually really good. Cause it's like I, got, I can lean on it. It's like sitting in a car now, nearly. Right, day one. We're on our way to uh, May Saryang. The first, the first hour, hour and a half is pretty boring because you're, you're on the motorways. And then as soon as you start getting into the mountainous areas, you can see why this is good. I mean, we're, this is the smog season and it's still really nice so uh, yeah can only imagine what it's like the rest of the year yeah we're, we're about an hour and 15 minutes away from may Saryang, which is our first destination on on the route um and there's like this really nice pine forest random like goes on for ages it's just that come out of nowhere. It's like all barren wasteland and then all of a sudden this. Well, you stopped off and had a snack. Yeah, we stopped off and had a snack because we've been riding for hours. My ass is so numb. Uh, yeah, and we've got uh, another hour and 15 minutes. That's by Google Maps, so it takes about double. So we've probably got another couple of hours left on the road, especially with the speed Nat, Nat drives at. I want to be safe. Yeah. You are pretty slow. As soon as I start going a little bit quicker, you, I, I look in the mirror and you're gone. In a distance, yeah. ahead. Nah, in the mirror, you're behind. Also, I'm really burnt. Yeah. So that's good. It's isn't funny it? because it was just yesterday you were telling me how, oh, there's a smog here, so I won't burn. It'll be fine. Right. Get my rubbish out of my bag for me. Good girl. There's, There's a toilet here as well. Not that I need it. Go in the bushes, mate, like a real man. We've also already gone through four litres of water. So you need to definitely make sure you stock up because it's really hot along here and you get, you need a lot of a lot of water when you're out in the sun all the time. Place is absolutely beautiful. We're, we're pretty much at Mesa Saryang now. 
and uh it's just stunning looks so nice and it's been like this for a while so you have the first hour and a half or so is motorways then you have go through all the pine forests then you just come into this you're just luscious green everywhere hills oh it's so nice got all these little valleys with all the farmland in them it's just it's amazing it's well nice really really good well worth it well worth sitting on that bloody thing for hours because that, <laughs> that's not good on the ass i tell you it's not good at all the amount of times i've had to stop just to give my ass a break but yeah this makes it so worth it All right, we're finally got to uh, Mae Sariang. It took us a long time. We actually stopped a few times in the end because there's a lot of scenery, a lot of nice scenery on the way. Um, and if you're wondering where to eat here, uh, if you're wondering where to eat here, we've actually just been recommended to come to Inkira. Um, and so we're gonna give it a go. There's, there is a place down the road where there was a lot of locals uh, eating but it's like real adventurous for us to do that. It's a shabu style. It's like really Thai style. You cook your own food at the table and all this sort of thing. Like we, we just, one saying we've had before right now. It's, just, uh, it's getting late. We still got to book a hotel and uh, yeah. And we're both very hungry. So yeah, we're here now. Uh, Interior it's called. And apparently the food's good. I'll let you know. Um, the prices are pretty expensive considering where we are, but I suppose that's probably why they're more expensive. I'm getting in a roundabout way. I've gone for the wild boar in the red curry sauce. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Oh well. Holy shit, that's spicy. Shouldn't have fucking. Oh, forgot to say. Don't want spicy. Oh well. Uh, yeah, make sure spicy. make sure you say you don't want it spicy. Yeah, that's so spicy. <laughs> it's mad spicy. I'm gonna have itchy skin from this. Really good flavours. Okay, so spicy. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're not in a tourist area, say you don't want it spicy. And I always forget. Well, we didn't even get now out. I must suffer. I'm Westerner. Is yours nice it. though? Mm. Look at the size of it. This cost me 60 baht. Look at the glistening, the glisteniness, sweatiness of Dan. Even his arms and his hands. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk. That's so spicy. It's probably the spiciest thing I've had since we left. <laughs> it's mental. Go eat it, I'm so hungry. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. <clears throat> that was crazy. That was easily the spiciest thing I've eaten since we left home. <sighs> now we need to go and find somewhere to sleep <clears throat> at 8 pm. Doesn't feel very smart, does it? All right, we've just turned up at this place. Really nice gardens, really nice. Hopefully, the room's good because it's, uh, it's quite nice here. 500 baht for a room. Oh, checked in, mate. It is hot out there. Um, yeah, 500 baht for this room. Uh, I've got three beds, so I'm going to pick the comfiest one. Uh, we've got three free bottles of water, we've got a fridge, which I've just got a big carton of milk. So I'm going to put that in there. We've got quite a big bathroom. Shower looks all right. Um, yeah, the place is sweet. Yeah, this is perfect, really. Got air conditioning, got a fan too if you need it. Yeah, good stuff. Happy with this. Good night. Morning. Oh, so peaceful here. I've really missed being in nature. We've been in cities for weeks. Ah, slept pretty good in there as well. Perfect start to the morning. Nice view, nice sounds of the birds and the 
cicadas, bugs, and milk. And Natalia. And me. Of course. I thought that goes without saying. Shut up. Day two. Let's go. First stop, fuel. We used nearly a full tank yesterday. It got a little bit uh, a little bit worried when we were on like one or two bars and still had about half an hour, an hour left on Google Maps. But we managed to get here. The last bit is all downhill, so don't worry too much. But it might be an idea just to make sure it's full before you leave Chiang Mai. That first day was 193 kilometers. And today we've got about 140 kilometers, I believe, to our next destination, which is just Mei Hong Song. So yeah, let's go on the way. set off this morning with little more than two bananas each and they're, they're little tiny bananas too so i'm starving hungry need to get some food we found a little coffee place here they do like a sook coffee but they haven't got it in stock but i did want to try that but uh yeah they've got little cakes now as well so i suppose that will just have to do for now Ooh, we'll have good coffee uh pretty good prices in it too oh, that's 40 uh 40 by each oh yeah the cakes are quite cakes are pretty good they're like 60 by each but oh, well pretty good this is a breakfast for kings. <laughs> It was 100 kilometers from Mei Saryang to here, Kunyam. And now we've got another 68 kilometers straight up the road to Mei Hong Son, which is where we're going to stop over. One night, maybe two, I don't know. Apparently you can stay there for two nights and have a little look around. Not sure yet. We're going to just get there and suss it out. We haven't booked a hotel yet either, so that's something we're going to have to do. Uh, so we've got about an hour and 20 minute drive from here on Google Maps, so it'll probably take us about four hours with that speed. <laughs> road from Kun Yam has got to be the most fun road I have ever driven on on a bike. That was good fun. Like, it's just the, the weaving all the way and it's not too sharp so you can go a little bit you know it's quite fun. That was good fun through there. So it has, it's not been scenic at all today I wouldn't say. There's not really been much good scenery at all but the drive itself has been very fun. Like, I've had a lot of fun today just driving around. Um, yeah, I don't know if it would look any better when it's not the burning season. Obviously, you can possibly see behind me, look, they're just burning all the time. Everywhere we go, it's just, it smells nice. I don't know what they're burning, but it, it smells really good. It's like, it smells like sort of sandalwood. Very fun drive on day two. Very fun. I've had a great time. So is Nat, right? Yes, it's been really fun. By the way, this bike, this bike is a beast. It's 125cc Honda Click. We were told that these wouldn't do it, but this has been perfect so far. And we did 200 kilometers on 150 bar, basically, on these things. They're, they're mad. They're well good. I'm well impressed with it. And they don't overheat now. We've been, we've been going for hours today. It's been fine so far. Tough wood. <laughs> right, here we are. We're at the Pad Bong. Fabong, Fabong, Fabong. We're at a nice viewpoint. Here it is. The good thing about it being burning season is there is no one here. There's no tourists um, blocking the roads. There's no tour buses. There's no nothing. It's very, uh, very quiet. So it's very peaceful. So when you do come to places like this, you know, even a little bit of smog, mate, I can appreciate that still. It's nice. Very nice. 
What a great idea this was. Uh, half seven, driving around for eight hours today. Finally got to an accommodation. The uh, Mae Hong Son got a place with air conditioning. There were quite a few places that didn't have air conditioning, they just had fans. It's not really good enough when it's 40 degrees every single day, it's very hot here. We're here, this is the walking street. Um, there's heaps of food, uh, food stalls here. There's just nobody here, it's so quiet. Bear in mind it's 8pm, like it's prime time, markets are usually like busy, but this is uh, so quiet here, there's no, nobody here. I suppose it's from the small, you know, tourist sign will be coming in, so they just got to rely on the, on the locals to be eating here. We've got live music as well, it's quite nice. It's a very nice vibe here, I suppose if it was busy with um, tourists and stuff, it would be uh, like popping off here really. It's very nice and peaceful at the moment though, I like it like this. Probably just not so good for the people who live here. Oh, look at this place. I'm going in here for dinner. Come on, Natanga. Huh? And it's the best Thai restaurant in town. The service is good in here so far. I like it. Quite nice decor as well. It's pretty, it's not very busy in here, but they closed, they actually stopped the kitchen at half eight, so it must be because you're in a village. Food in here is very, very good. It's probably is the best Thai in town because it's up there with some of the best Thai food I've had since we got here. Yeah, we've got stir fried mixed vegetables, stir fried chicken with cashew nuts, and uh, chicken pad thai, and steamed rice. I forgot about the rice. Oh, it's all that rice as well. Nah, it's all good. Very good. Definitely recommend. Good morrow. Welcome to day three. Dead snake on the side of the road. 